from the Ralph's Fly Box. Today we're going to tie one of my favorite springtime wets. It's the Copper Tan. And let's go over how to tie it. The, uh, the hook we start out with is a Wide Gape Orvis Tactical. And we're going to be using dot Tan Uni Thread. So we'll start our thread. Uh, just about a eye length behind the eye. And the first thing we're going to do is tie in our hackle. I use tan badger and I prep the uh, end in this fashion. I clip the end leaving some stubs. And we're going to tie that in facing over the eye. and give a couple wraps to hold it and then bring our thread back and right behind that hackle after we tie it in we are going to tie in our rib very few moving moving parts in this fly very easy to tie very straightforward we're going to use fine copper uni wire I'm going to tie that in right at the same point as the hackle. And we're going to wrap that in the side of the hook back to a point where we're about even with where the barb would be. Barb tip just slightly into the bend of the hook. Just slightly. And then we're going to take our thread and build our body. It's a slight body. Just going to put a slight taper on it. You can do this faster with six odd if you want, but I don't like to build it too much. I'd rather stick with the smaller diameter thread. And I bring that body all the way up tight because I don't tie a thorax in this fly or use a thorax. I bring that right up tight to the hackle. And we're going to counter wrap our wire. evenly spaced we're going to bring that up to the hackle as well and last wrap remember we left a little bit of space there and trim off our wire At this point, I like to put a slight kink in the in the shag in the in the feather, and I bring my thread two turns in front. Okay, and I grab with my hackle pliers, and we're going to stay in front of the thread. We're going to put three turns. And on the third turn, we're going to bring it up top and tie off. I said this is a very simple wet fly. Not a lot of moving parts. There's no need for them. Turn off our butt. And then I like to sweep, since we tied our hackle in wet fly fashion, but over the front, when we bring it back, we're already the curvature of our feather is facilitating a wet fly feature. I'm going to sweep it back. Just further put it in that position. And usually right there is where we want it. And then a quick three turn whip finish.
and there it is. Copper tan. Grease your tippet. Leave this fly in the film. March brown hatch is its perfect match. Does extremely well for me when they're looking for wets. Hope it adds to your box that has mine. Good luck this spring. See you in the water.